let's say we start to generate uh, the projects or building the project with uh, Spring IO or Spring Initializer. And here you see the the there is a true building the generation to build building tools Maven and Gradle. We sell, we use the Maven, and here is the your your selected language. You can Java, Groovy, and Kathleen, and then there's a version of Groovy. So for us, we, we use the 15th of the uh, the Spring Boot. And you have you put it. I put we, we put it here. The, our group names and here the, the your project name or your artificial ID, and this is the artificial ID. And you can search it here by from here from the search button. So we need um, the wave. We need the uh, rest, uh, rest repositories, and then uh, blah blah blah. Even though we can we can it's what's the full version of the of your projects. So let's say. So you you packaging you have two option of packaging so jar where and and jar so this is the jar means you 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 deploy your application with the embedded Tomcat and we don't need to to maintain the Tomcat uh, it's the embedded Tomcat so you can select with uh, your Java versions which version you are for us uh, is a Java version eight so then then after that you can select from from the full version you can we need a DevOps tools then that means that you your code automatically executed and 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 when you have change and source source code like, source code we need to to select the the we try to generate the raised doc uh, documents and even though you can write it like the java doc documents for the your documentations so here uh, you see that your SQL world and JPA world, so MySQL, Postgres, and blah blah blah. And then here is the non SQL world for us is the Elastic Search uh, for as a, as, a, as, a, as a backend server. So then after that, you can select here for we need uh, the actuator, then uh, this is the DevOps the actuator, then actuator means it's generate your, your respective endpoints for the uh, endpoints means I mean the, your 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 application health conditions info and matrices and that 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 the type of things is automatically generated. This is really really good tools and these actuated tools and also the um, also the the dev tools. This is a really really good tools. You can easily integrate and you 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 get the your 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 endpoints information and you compile your source codes automatically when there is changing something. So uh, let's let's. Now we try to generate uh, the projects. Is project is generated as a zip file, and you 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 downloaded this zip file to the your local systems, and then after that unzipped it and integrate the, your replication to the uh, your respective IDE. For for as I said, you, you can use the IntelliJ or my Eclipse or Eclipse, and depending on the your development IDE selected. And here we use the use the um, Spring tool suites, so the project is done, unzipped it, and I, I integrate the projects in my, my IDE. So you see the projects, and the, this is the project definitions. And now is the, as the, the, the all the videos that I said, there is a, there is a specific uh, module structure. Uh, module structure means specific packaging uh, structure. So I love it to this to this this way. So this is our application main main class and main methods is there and annotated by Spring Boot applications and this is the models and the repositories and the resource service and service implementation and utilities. So I will I will go the detail how is it done. So if if I say that the models so it's a microservice applications. So that means uh, we have in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, 10 domain or object definitions and uh, this is the information for the building the uh, plot date information and the building date information and this is the registration process that means this is the two domain class or objects in maintaining your logging logout mechanism and in also the registration process and ev that that means every application has to be maintained this this logging process because the next microservice will be the based on the on the, the detail about the building information flow information and unit information let's go detail about the the what's the contained these informations so is it annotated is a Elastic search based uh, models implementation so documents and this index name and this type and and the, here is our 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 content of the of the of the of the objects of the domains so here is the primary key and you see the the strings all the informations the plot code plot 
name, type, number, and the, the CSS number, MS number. This is specific on the each of the governments and the PL on remarks. And uh, this is the information of the, the where the the center location and also the how the height of the of the plots from the mean sea level. And this is the, our pictures. So that means well, you take the picture from the Google Maps or Yahoo Maps or whatever open street map, then put it the picture here, and then you can really find out where is your polar plot is located. And this is the most important part. You have to be concentrated here. So is this every plot has to be has to be linked or has to be made one to many related with the uh, authorization because every plot has to be authorized by different different institute or companies or whatever what different departments and that's why I need and then the plot has the ownership information that means one plot has multiple ownership information that means father or mother and also the son or daughter and even though in the company to company the you know ownership for each plot and payment information and the one to many payment because the pay plot has to be the payment has to be schedules like every year has to be paid the taxes or income taxes and you have to be paid the 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 the, the payment for the for the utility services so here the the many utilities is linked to the each plot utility gas electricity internet and 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 then a sensory systems and here is the billing information you have to be maintain your billing information from the from the how many cost like the for the utility cost and have the tax cost and and then you have to maintain the your your, your bank informations and it's a little bit complex applications we try to 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 to, to categorize we try to modularize this application here is the billing information as i said one plot has multiple buildings informations and then building has to be linked and then plot has a geogra geographical details so now we have to go more detail about what information for the authorization. So authorization means here the all information for author, author, authorizations and his document copy and and then your your approval copy and then standard gated and setups and the primary key and when did the authorizations and when when they approved it when you applied it and when they published this is the authorization copy of the of the this each of the plots and this is the the your documentation information the documents the your index information and type of index so and then let's see the what the billing informations is the billing information when the bill created who is the authority for the bills and and this related information timestamp information for the for the billings and here the use the your information about the remarks for the mm, for the for the billing information is a bill bill paid or non paid and then blah 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 and how much amount for this and even though the copy of the bills and here the ownership information for the the plots because it's one to many related and then there is the id related maybe the the, the ownership id maybe the national ids or, or passport ids or passport number that's and so on and so forth and when the ownership uh, owner is linked or, or linked with this plot and where is the is it is it oh, last time was the modified means when the change the ownership from from one owner to another one another, another owner or one owner to many many owners, and that that's why we need this information when the ownership changes, and the payment information is the like this way, and when the payment created and documents and total payments and paid and unpaid and this this type of information containing this this domain class. And here is the utility information. I already said utility means electricity, gas, and internet, or or sewers, or whatever it is the new, new, new utilities for the, for the for the plots. And and the plot means that after that the plot has the buildings. Then this utility has to be linked with the buildings. And building has a multiple floors, and each floor has to be linked with the utilities. And then each floor has multiple units of. Uh, units and then this is the link with the, all of them uh, the module services so here's the registrations uh, registration class and then uh, you see the registration the, the registration user the username password and then his role of the of the registration so each registrar user has multiple roles and you can put it the role so the role has containing the the role id and the role uh, role name and role type and then when the role created that means when the user is created for for with this specific role maybe user is created this year and next year he has to change the role then we have to change it here the role the registration process so this is you saw the our our all the domain definition and the domain has containing the all related 